A lot of magic people enjoy are those ones that are quick, short, sharp packet effects and this one falls into that bracket. I've got two packets of cards, uh, reds and blues, and the, you ask a spectator to choose either one of those and they really do have a choice of any one. If they choose the red, you say, look, I'm going to give you these four red cards to hold on to, and they hold on to them. You then are left with the blue. Again, you'll show them that you've got the four blue backed cards. You say to the spectator, I want you to imagine for a moment that those four cards you've got in your hand are the four jacks. Now, as you know, you have reds and blacks. I want you to remove either the red or the black. Remove it. Now they get a free choice and they say remove the black. Okay, you've got rid of that. Now I'm going to replicate you. I'm going to get rid of my black jacks as well. We're left with red, hearts and diamonds. Give me a suit. Heart. Okay, so I'm going to take your heart. Give me your heart sounds nice and I'm going to give you my diamond this is what I want you to do is turn the card I've given you the jack of diamonds face up I'm going to turn your jack of hearts face up and drop it like that just spread your cards and there is face up the diamond, the jack of diamonds. Remember, you had a free choice of any jack and you gave me the heart, the jack of hearts. And there it is. But to go one stage further, to prove that it really did happen, we swapped cards. That jack of diamonds belongs to me. That jack of hearts belongs to you. If we take a look, they really did happen. And that's a great little packet effect. Practice and enjoy. A great little packet effect. And um, before you all start commenting, yes, I know there's been hundreds and hundreds of these type of effects. In fact, I was trying to count how many I own over the years or seen perform. There's so many variations. One of my favourite is the Stephen Tucker's Omega, which is similar to that. A uh, common one is Twisted Sisters, um, Max Maven, the, the B Wave. And I could just go on for the next 20 minutes calling out all these tricks that are based on a similar principle, having a small packet and the transference of the cards. The most common use is the aces and things like that. So let's take a look at the cards themselves. What you need are four blue back cards, four red back cards, um, and you also need two red jacks because that's what you're going to force onto the spectator is the red jacks. Okay, the other cards you don't need to worry about. It doesn't matter what they are. So this is the deal. It is just about forcing the cards. You swap them over and you put the blue backed jack face up in here and the red backed jack over here. Now I can tell straight away that I've got the heart in the blue and the diamond in the red. Square these up. Now it does help if you learn the Elmsley count. I'll put a link in the description to learning the Elmsley count. It's not as hard as you think. But this is the routine. They get a choice of any of these. So it doesn't matter which one. And you can perform an Elmsley count. Now you don't have to do this if you're no good at uh, sleight of hand. But you can just show four cards using the Elmsley. The last card you put to the bottom okay so they end up in the same order you do the same with this so the spectator has seen four blues four reds now if they've chosen the red they hold on to them or you can leave them on the table 
You're then going to use Magician's Force. Most tricks nowadays use some sort of Magician's Force, where the spectator believes that they get a free choice, but they don't. And it's the way you word it. So the first part is you need to get rid of the black cards. So you say to them, I want you to imagine that those four cards are the four jacks. You have reds and blacks. Remove either the reds or the blacks. Now, using that word remove, you're not telling them what you're going to be doing with them. So say to them, I want you to remove the reds or the blacks. Now, let's say they removed the reds. They say red. You then just carry on because you want to have the reds. You say, OK, you've now got the reds, the hearts and the diamonds. But what if they're chosen the black? So they've removed the black. OK, you've removed the black. That leaves you with the red. Can you see the way it worded is no matter what choice they make, you're always going to be forcing them to be working with the two red jacks. So let's say they said, um, I'll remove the reds. OK, you've removed the reds. So picture in front of you those two red jacks, hearts and diamonds. Now, it doesn't matter which one they choose. Let's say they chose hearts. Now, because I know that I've got the heart in mine and they've got the diamond, you say to them, heart, and this is why, uh, if you note, the way that I phrase it is I say, OK, hearts and diamonds, give me one of those suits. Don't emphasise give. You're not, uh, you just, uh, in a casual, it's a bit like when you say, look, uh, give us your name. You know, I don't literally mean them give me their name. It's just a phrase. So just kind of casually say, uh, give me one of those suits. Now, if they said hearts, you'll say, OK, I'm going to take the heart from you. I'm going to give you the other one, the red diamond jack. So I'm going to give you that. So it looks as though you've swapped. That's the trick done. They drop them invisibly. They've got the, the jack and I've got the jack of hearts here. If you said, uh, give me a suit, and they said diamond, I'm going to give you the diamond and you give me your heart. And that's it. It's, it's whichever way round they give it, you're always going to end up with these. Watch the routine. Watch the phrasing. It's such a convincer because they believe they had a free choice of any of those jacks. And not only that, that you reverse them in the packs and as the real kicker, they turn out to be the opposing colours. And that's all there is to it. Now I know that other commercially available tricks out there go on one stage further and prove that these are all blanks. Okay, so you could do that if you... It's a great little packet effect. Have fun with that. Till next time, see you soon.